Hey, hey, Tanner James, DJ TJ. I'm here with the Dish Jockey News, and I want to give you a super quick tip about email subject lines. So I work with a lot of schools, and one of my schools recently emailed me during the last prom season, and the email subject line was prom dash problems. <laughs> And when I wake up in the morning and I get this nice email that that is that has the head that has the title the headline problems I don't like it <laughs> because then all I can think about as I'm opening up this email is the problems that are happening the things that are going wrong the things that I'm gonna have to switch up and change and all of these problems so then I go into reading the email negative because I, oh man there's problems and then I'm reading the email I'm annoyed and then I get to the end and I'm annoyed and then I respond annoyed all because the beginning of the email started off bad. And during your DJ career, when you are working with clients, there will be a time that you need to write an email and it's not going to be the best email. And it doesn't matter how it could be. It could be super, super small. It could be as small as a song like, oh, hey, you sent me this song, but I couldn't find it online. Could you send me another name or can you make sure that that's the right name? But if you put in the subject line, I can't find this song or help or or bad song or problematic song, see how it changes the whole entire thing. You have a super small problem about a little song, but you don't wanna make it a bigger problem in the subject line. So then what you could do is just say songs in the subject line. Don't, don't put a negative connotation, don't put a negative light on the subject line. Keep it bland, keep it neutral, don't have a ton of extra stuff in there, you don't need it. Just keep it basic. Because you don't want the client to think, oh no, there's a problem, there's a problem with my song, oh no, and then everything goes bad because of something really small, like you just couldn't find it, it's not that big of a deal. So when you're writing your email subject line, be super cautious to make sure that when they're reading it, it doesn't seem like a big deal. Because it may not be a big deal, but you don't wanna write problems in the subject line. It's not, just creates bad vibes and you don't want that. So make sure that when you're writing your email subject lines, you are very aware of what that person may be thinking when they receive that email. Because if they're at work and they're heading into a, into a meeting and then they get this thing and it says problems with venue and they're like, oh no, and now the whole meeting's messed up. And really it's just because you, it was something really small with the venue. It wasn't really big. It's because you didn't know where to load in but because of the bad subject line, it makes it comes across as bad. So next time you're writing your email subject lines, keep this in mind, make sure that you are very aware of what that person would be thinking when they receive that email. If you have any questions or comments about email subject lines, go ahead, leave them down below, and I'll see you guys next week.